Church is uniting to derail plans for the streetcar expansion before the city goes any further. New at 6 tonight, Brenda Lise Gonzalez explains why this congregation doesn't want to have to pay for the project. This church is a voice for this neighborhood. For nearly 90 years, hundreds have come to St. Teresa's to be fed. Whether one of the 250 members or not, Father Davis offers more than just support. But for defense when they need it. So when he heard about the possibility of the city streetcar expanding less than three miles away from their church. I heard, here we go again, that somebody from outside the neighborhood is going to impose a burden on the people who live in the neighborhood is going to make things worse for us. Plans to expand the streetcar will add a 1% sales tax to areas near the track. Also included a special assessment fee for anyone living around four blocks from either side of the tracks. Let's say your house has a market value of about $200,000. You'd be paying $266 every year. Nonprofits pay a little less than half of that. You see that beige house? Mm -hmm. Empty. The one next to it? Empty. Valerie Blackwell has lived just a block from St. Teresa's for more than 40 years. A lot of these young people in these neighborhoods work in Johnson County. The streetcar is not going to Johnson County. If the federal government would give us enough money, we'd be happy to do it with all federal funding. Highly unlikely. The expansion will be up for a public vote next summer if a judge approves a plan in April. So this is why we're getting out in front now. Father Davis says he knows of at least three churches that plan to sue to stop the streetcar. Brenda Lee Gonzalez, 41 Action News. Thank you, Brenda. And another group wants to make sure the expansion isn't even up for votes. Members of the Save the Trolley Trail are worried the streetcar will stop people from using that popular trail that's used for runners and walkers. City Council members repeatedly said that the trail will not be destroyed. Well, it was the concern about the actual logistics of putting a trail beside the trolley track and not being quite able to envision how we would retain the integrity of the trail as we know it and putting a straight track beside it. And the mayor's office did appoint a committee to plan for that possible expansion.